Occlusion from a centric relation perspective. Occlusion, the hottest topic of the 21st century in dentistry. To say that there's misunderstanding, misinformation, various philosophies, various treatments is a gross misunderstatement. It's been called occlusion confusion. I've created these animations along with a company called Dynamic Thought to help you understand some of the things that are working in my practice. My philosophy is quite simple. The best dentistry is no dentistry and a good bite. If I can educate a patient, motivate a patient to keep their mouth so clean and healthy that they don't need my services, I think I've done a great job. We all know that's possible because we see some people that are that healthy. Secondly, we have an obligation to the patient to give them good information and good understanding about the things that they need to do and the things that we need to do. Bite effects, the next step. So one of the earliest tools we had was just picking up a pen and a piece of paper and trying to draw the temporomandibular joint and its relationship to the teeth and the uh, upper and lower skull. The frustration here was it took a lot of time and it was never quite realistic. Another good tool we've had in the past were replicas of a human skull. Uh, they get hard to find uh, human skulls any longer, so we had to rely on plastic ones, which are op often not very anatomic. But we could show the jaw joints, how it fits in the socket, and how the teeth come together. But it required that you'd have to manipulate the skull and try and point things out with two hands. And often it, it's rather clumsy. And another downside of this skull was it only showed one bite. So we couldn't show various effects of multiple bites. The best tool I discovered before developing bite effects was this TMJ tutorial, which is an abstract model of how the jaw joint fits in its proper location and how the teeth don't line up and how the teeth will then dictate the position of the jaw joint. So these tools have been great in the past. Any communication is better than no communication. But bite effects has been uh, a culmination of taking a lot of ideas and putting something into very realistic animations so patients can truly see a, a variance of different disorders in three dimensions with software animations. With the temporomandibular joint fully seated in its proper centric relation pivot point, all teeth striking simultaneously with equal pressure, then the front teeth can protect the back teeth and once again, the back teeth can only hit along the vertical axis.